Hi, it's me again. So I wasn't planning on actually shooting a video today um, just because I didn't really want to and I'm going to the Kuwait soon so I need to get ready and pack for that. But it was such a nice day today. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the light but it is so sunny. So you might think that I'm looking quite sporty um, and that's because I'm still wearing the stuff that I was wearing when I was working out and then I had the idea that I wanted to shoot a video I saw I was wearing some kit and I thought, let's talk about my sport. In case you don't know, I am an athlete, or I used to be an athlete, I'm probably not anymore, and my sport was quite a big part of my life for quite a while, so I wanted to kind of chat about it, because I don't really talk about it on my blog or on my YouTube at all really. So I thought, let's have a little chatty video and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I've got something in my eye. This is probably going to be like a 20 minute long video and then I'm going to have to edit it to make it make sense because I don't know what I want to talk about, I just want to talk about my sport and what I did for like a while. Before we get really stuck in, let's give you the basics. My sport is rifle shooting and I represented Scotland and Great Britain at a junior level which is under 21 for quite a few years and including being like the British champion at some point and being ranked number one in Britain for two years in my event of under 21 ladies or women's 50 meter prone rifle. So I thought oh this video is gonna be so many jump cuts I'm sorry I've just not got my thoughts in order at all I just wanted to talk about it. If you want to keep up to date with my shooting or see a little bit of a different side to me you can always like me on Facebook I have an athlete page and I'll link that down below and then you can see what I do and see some pictures and I might give you a better idea of what shooting actually is so I'm gonna talk about the sport first as a general sort of thing and then I'll talk about what I did and things like that within shooting as a sport there's three main disciplines there is rifle pistol and shotgun and within rifle there's two of kind of main split between small bore and full bore. So I do rifle as my sport and small bore rifle in particular and I also do shotgun just for fun and I got a shotgun in the summer which is very pretty which I posted about on my blog quite recently actually and but that's just for fun it's not a competitive thing so what I'm going to talk about is rifle mainly because I don't know anything about shotgun to talk about. So within rifle, like I said, there is small bore and there's full bore. And I do small bore, some people do both, some people do only one. And within small bore rifle shooting, there is two types of rifle you can use. You can use an air rifle or you can use a .22 rifle. And I used, I did both. With an air rifle, it is done standing up and you're pointing at a target 10 meters away. I'll put in a little picture here. And when you're using your .22 rifle, you can either do it prone, which is done at 50 meters away at international level competitions, or you can do it in 3P, which is three positions, which is also done at 50 meters, but you do standing, kneeling, and prone. So I'll put a picture of me doing prone. So that's a basic sort of rundown on the sport. Um, obviously, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but it's not killing anything. I shoot at a paper target, not in shotgun where you shoot at clays, which kind of then you smash. But in rifle, they are paper targets and they're always static, so they're staying in the same place. And then when you're using your rifle, there is no telescopic sights. It's just um, essentially a circle and then there's a circle at the bottom and then you put the circle of the target in a row and that's how you get a good shot. So I do my shooting in Britain, I'm Scottish and so obviously that's what I'm going to talk about. I can't talk about things I don't know and this is quite a personal thing and I want to talk about my personal involvement with sport at a high level because it was what I was doing for a while and I really really enjoyed it. So I started shooting in 2008. There was a taster day ran at my school where in the Eastern summer holidays they do sort of weeks where you can go and you can try lots of different sports. My brother wanted to go try shooting because boys like guns and well we both went because that's easiest and we both quite liked it and we started going to the club and I just sort of stuck with it. And the shooting I'm talking about here is air rifle. So we were doing 10 meter air rifle. So I did that for quite a while and I was getting more and more into it and taking it a bit more seriously. 
and then I joined the Scottish under 21 squad and then I got invited to like my first sort of international competition I guess and that was the um, at a competition called Intershoot and it's held in the Netherlands where I represented Team Scotland just on the junior side of it. So then I got a bit more and more involved and then I got into the Scottish Fast Track squad which is like the next level up. It's a bit more elite I guess. Um, the point of the Fast Track squad is to get you into the top level squad and that is the squad, the top level squad is where they pick the Commonwealth Games athletes for and at the same time of representing Scotland you can also get selected to represent Great Britain. So I've been very lucky, I've got to represent both Scotland and Britain at a number of different things and that's really good. Well. I say lucky and I think that makes it sound like I didn't work hard because obviously I did work hard. I was in the Scottish Fast Track squad for four years and this meant that you were training a lot and you do sort of just sort of work your life around your sport a little bit. And I don't think I realised how much I worked my life around my sport until I took a step back from the international competition just because I had uni to focus on. So that was Last year uh, was my first full year out of the squads and then this will be my second year. So I guess the interesting thing to talk about is the international competitions and I thought I would tell you a little bit what that's like I guess because it's quite a unique experience. So the competitions that I did, I did competitions within Scotland where I represented my local club and then you have the sort of top level of your Scottish domestics would be your Scottish Championships and then you have British domestics and then British Championships and then you can get selected to represent Scotland or Britain depending on what the competition is because it all sort of falls into the fact that there's two top level competitions where you can represent Scotland at which is the Commonwealth Games and you can also represent Britain Act would be the Olympics so you almost have to have there's two sort of different situations going on at once if that makes any sense or if you even care. International wise the biggest competition that I have ever been to has been the World University Games in 2013 which was held in Kazan Russia and this is the kit that I'm actually wearing today. This is part of the British University's team which was a senior event but you had to be a student at university and you had to be under 30. The World University Games were an amazing experience. I think it's like the second biggest event in terms of numbers of athletes there. It's a multi-sport event and there was like 10,000 athletes or something like that compared to the Olympics as well. So it is massive. It was amazing. We lived as part of Team GB in the Athletes Village for 10 days or so and it was crazy. Like we had an opening ceremony in um, a massive stadium. It was an amazing, amazing experience. And I just feel so very lucky that I got to go to it. And then the next biggest thing I've been to is probably been the European Championships, which was in 2012. And this was where I represented Great Britain again and I came in the top 30 which was amazing. I was so pleased with myself. I, It was a really great summer for me. <laughs> I did so well and I'm really happy with it so that's great. It was very busy though and one of the reasons why I thought I should maybe take a step back when I did because I was training a lot. I also had physio sessions every week and I also had um, like strength and conditioning sessions as well plus university plus going to squad training weekends as well as training by myself plus international competitions it was pretty crazy and being an international athlete and a student at the same time was tough and it's something that I could do a whole separate video on if that's something that people would even be interested in but you know it's something that I think is worth talking about or at least mentioning when I'm talking about my sport. So as well as those big competitions, I did get to go to lots of little competitions. Well, not little, they were still international competitions, but smaller com international competitions. 
and I figure I could just list you the different countries and if you've ever been there tell me and let me know and also let me know if you do a sport I'd be really interested to see if you do a sport so I've mentioned the Netherlands before I've done the Netherlands a few times Germany a lot Austria Italy Norway Czech Republic and that's about it I think yeah I've not been to that many different places but I've been very lucky to go to the places I have been obviously um, my boyfriend I don't think I've mentioned this before he's the one that takes all my photos but he is also a shooter and he is actually a lot better than I am and he's been to way more places than I have so although I've been lucky and go to a few places there are definitely way more people who are better than me and have been to way more places than I have. I just thought I should mention that in case this comes across as I'm being super boasty and like I'm the best in the world which I am so 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 not. So as well as international shooting I wanted to talk a little bit about university shooting because this is something that I love. Ever since I went to university I've been part of my university team and been really active in the club whether as a member and a secretary and I was supposed to be the captain this year but I ran away to France and then but next year I'm going to be the ladies captain and it's just something that I really really enjoy and I wanted to talk about it because if you are a student and if you're interested in shooting really honestly go check it out and go check it out even if you think you're not interested in shooting because you'd be surprised. Um, you don't have to have any sort of background about shooting. Most of the people that we work with in the club don't have any background. You know, don't think you've got to be like an international athlete to join a club. Most people have never held a gun, have never fired a gun. And the great thing about shooting is it's so social. It's not the most social of events to compete because you're just lying down and you're doing your own thing. But there's such a nice spirit and such a good community surrounding the sport at university level and outside. Everyone is so helpful and willing to help you out. And at university there's also, this comes with a really great social aspect. And so if you're a student, please go check out if your university's got a club. If you want, message me or email me because I have contacts in every university in Scotland who shoots and if your university doesn't have a club I can definitely put you in touch with another university club that you can join and yeah I want to just say that even though you might not think that you'll like shooting because it's like guns and you might think that it's like a boys sport it is predominantly a male dominated sport especially outside of university shooting but within university shooting it's really not it's really quite evenly split there's a scooter as a sport, it's something that's really good because you just sort of lie down and it's really about consistency and concentration. You don't need to be sweating, you know, you're not, it's not physically demanding in an obvious way. Such a good sport. I love my sport. I love everything that I put into it. It's taught me a lot and I've got so much out of it. Not only have I got to travel places and I've got to meet like a whole different social circle that from domestic friends to international friends to university friends it's been so good and I think being a member of a sports club at university is really really good and you get a lot out of it. This is something that I did just want to talk about in a little video on YouTube and I'll probably post it on my blog and Facebook and stuff because it was such a big part of my life and it still is a big part of my life you know I'm still going to be at the club three or four times a week I'm still going to be competing this summer I'm going to shoot so much I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm not shooting here in France because it was going to be quite expensive to get my kit over. So I'm having a year off and at first it was kind of nice at the start but at Christmas I went shotgun shooting which you might have saw from my embarrassing shotgun video. I'll post a link and you know I got the bug again and I was like I'm so desperate to go home and shoot right now. Right, I have blabbered on for a ridiculous amount of time. <laughs> Sorry for the rambly video. I also need to get ready to pack to Q8 and do a whole lot of other stuff and go to work on Monday. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, bye.